Reporter Jonathan Deckel told the tragic story of Scott Johnson, a cheerful and precise drum technician for Radiohead, who was killed when a stage collapsed in Toronto nearly seven years ago. Ten charges laid against the concert promoter and others were stayed because the case took too long to get to trial. Deckel spent more than three months developing the story, obtaining interviews in which members of the popular band shared intimate memories and said they had considered packing it in after Johnson's death. They're still angry at a justice system that failed their comrade and frustrated at all those involved for not working to ensure it never happens again. It would prove to be the most controversial decision the National Gallery of Canada had made in decades. It wanted to sell one of the most valuable paintings, a Marc Chagall, so it could buy another piece it deemed of national importance. The gallery hoped to do it all quietly, but reporters Chris Hannay and Daniel LeBlanc wouldn't let that happen. Amassing a network of sources and a trove of documents, the Globe and Mail journalists delivered authoritative coverage of the bewildering decision to sell the Chagall and the seven-figure penalty the gallery eventually had to pay to cancel the sale. Judges said their stories were accessible and left readers eager to learn the next development in the saga. Trois reporters de La Presse se sont intéressés aux plaintes étonnantes de harcèlement et d'agression physique à l'encontre du chef de renommée mondiale de l'Orchestre symphonique de Montréal, tel que relaté habilement par Fanny Lévesque, Véronique Lauzon et Katia Gagnon, des musiciens ont dénoncé des histoires effarantes d'agressions perpétrées par l'insolent maestro. En plein mouvement, moi aussi, ces témoignages ont minutieusement rendu public les allégations contre le chef d'orchestre qui a été une icône dans le monde de la musique, ainsi que les conséquences qui ont longtemps affecté ceux et celles qui l'ont côtoyé. Les reporters ont aussi révélé que les autorités étaient au courant des accusations, mais qu'elles n'étaient pas intervenues. Les juges ont dit qu'il s'agissait là d'un travail captivant, un reportage d'enquête hors pair. Award for Arts and Entertainment goes to Chris Hannay and Daniel Leblanc. Thanks very much. Uh, I didn't want to get my hopes up, so I didn't prepare anything. Um, but thanks very much to our editor, uh, Craig Offman, uh, for his, uh, his, uh, his help on, on everything we did in the file. Thanks very much to uh, Robert Fife, uh, the bureau chief in Ottawa, uh, for letting us do this story. Um, we normally do politics, um, and we tried to bring those political skills uh, to the arts coverage. Uh, I think all the nominees uh, really showed uh, in the arts uh, category, just how important investigative work is in arts coverage, and how arts uh, doesn't have to be um, doesn't have to be just uh, you know criticism or, or lighter stuff. There's really important issues that we need to cover uh, in the arts. Yours, merci beaucoup. Uh, félicitations aux autres nominés. Congratulations, uh, Jonathan. Uh, thank you very much. I think this award is a testament to what happens in our bureau, which is teamwork, um, which is people putting sources together, putting ideas together, and uh, thanks, uh, that's under the leadership of Bob Fife um, and everyone above him, but also all my colleagues. Thank you, merci.